In Canada, we're a country with a strong justice system and uh, an independent judiciary, and we follow the rule of law. Uh, as we've all heard many times over these past weeks, uh, it is the role of the Attorney General to make determinations on uh, whether and how uh, to make recommendations uh, to uh, our prosecutors and to our courts, uh, always within the rule of law, always within the respect of our institutions. We have uh, an independent judiciary with uh, strong institutions and uh, uh, we're a country that follows the rule of law. The courts will follow uh, their appropriate process. Uh, the Attorney General, as we've heard many times over the past weeks, uh, will uh, has the responsibility to make a determination on whether and how to uh, uh, intervene in uh, matters before the courts, and uh, will exercise that in a way that is rigorous and in keeping with the rule of law. I think there is a, a broad range of things we reflect on needing to do better in the future, but uh, the fundamental issue of a disagreement between the former Attorney General and myself and my office uh, was uh, something that uh, we accept uh, existed. We tried very hard to make sure that we were moving forward in the right way. Unfortunately, there was an erosion and a breakdown of trust that uh, proved uh, uh, that we were unable to move forward together. But we're going to continue uh, to focus on uh, the things that matter, like this historic investment in housing uh, for Toronto.